Hey guys, it's Phil here from STV Sydney Trains Vlogs. I'm here at Ropes Creek Station. I'm going to do a uh, pretty much what I did in Vlog 600, but go a little bit in depth with the information and also just to refresh some of you guys who are new since Vlog 600 and haven't seen any Ropes Creek vlogs that I've done. So um, to start off with, the main purpose of the Ropes Creek line was to transport military ammunitions and munitions factory workers to and from St. Mary's during World War II. The line opened from St. Mary's to Dunheved on the 1st of March 1942, then from Dunheved to Ropes Creek on the 29th of June 1942. Ropes Creek Station closed on the 22nd of March 1986. Now I'm just going to show you guys around the station a bit. Here we've got an exact, or well, pretty much exact replica of the original station building. The station building was actually burnt down. Uh, it was made of weatherboard, so which made it quite vulnerable to flames, just like <laughs> just like most things. And as you can see in there. Signals, or well, signal levers anyway. Hold on, I'll go around the other side so I can give you a proper look. And there's all the signal levers there. Obviously twisted and things like that from the um, intensity of the heat of the flames and before I forget, I keep walking past and forgetting there's the original train tracks there and just over here I'm not too sure if there was a siding here or not but I don't know, there is tracks <laughs> one of the original light posts just there and it's big object <laughs> you see here used to be the um, footbridge and for those of you who for those of you who remember vlog 600 there's a difference in this vlog <laughs> there's danger construction site unauthorized persons keep out so obviously they might be um, redoing the uh, bridge or maybe just knocking it down but who knows just here is the only two remaining steps that went up to the top of the footbridge and four of the old support thingies that went up there. I'll obviously at some point come back here and let you guys know what's happening with this footbridge, whether it's there, uh, still in the same condition or knocked down or redone, who knows. There's another station sign just here. I had to stop recording just for a second because there's a, there was a few drunk people yelling out informing me that there's no trains running here anymore and I'm, yeah I'm not that stupid <laughs> so as you can tell it's um, pretty good when I very first came here uh, this whole station was just inaccessible it was just like a construction site and around the station was just bushes and just long grass and it just looked like a lot of crap until um, when I come back here in vlog 430 something I think I noticed that something was happening this replica of the station building was getting rebuilt and yeah I knew something was going on so then I looked on Wikipedia and surely enough it said that there is a cultural park being built here and the station's getting kind of refurbished or whatever you'd like to say. I'll just go down this little area here and show you guys something that I found somewhat interesting. to the front of the station. Right, um, just 
to do with this wall here. Walk through the garden area without destroying anything, of course, successfully. There's little odds and ends, as you can see just there. Yeah, little odds and ends in the wall here. Hold on, there's more stuff down here. Just trying to avoid all this new grass and stuff. So yeah. And of course this give you guys a good look overview of the station there. Um, nice big staunch in there, still intact. So yeah, anyway guys, that's all I've got to say, so don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and favourite the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog, and I really appreciate you all watching. Thank you again, and bye for now. Jeez, horns. Is that a train or a car? Gee. Alright, bye for now.